I'm Kane Scraber. I'm from Kids First. And my question is, what drew you to directing this film? I'm sorry? What drew you to directing this film? Ah, well, I'm good friends with the writer. No, I'm just kidding, because I wrote it. Um, I wanted to write the film to let my boys know that if in fact I did get divorced, that it's not the end of the world, that it's a sad reality, but I think, I think in America now, it's almost at 50% divorce rate. And, and I, I sensed that I was going to get divorced and my biggest concern was my children's mental health and well-being, And I wanted my kids to know that as long as we all come from a place of love and gratitude for each other and simple things, that everything's going to be okay. And, and, it, and it actually, it's become my kind of my life, uh, my life motto, if you will. I don't sweat the small stuff, as they say. I never do. It's like I got my health, I've got my boys, and other than that, everything else is icing on the cake. How old are you? I'm 11. 11, me too. Isn't it great? <laughs> Did you like the movie? Oh, yes, I loved it. I want to watch it again. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you're my favorite person now. That's it. What was it like acting with a dog as your co-star? Um, acting with a dog can be difficult sometimes, but on this particular set, it was a lot of fun. Um, and especially because the trainers were so amazing, it was actually really, really easy. Um, but JC was a huge diva. She had like six trailers. Uh, <laughs> Couldn't make eye contact, like you couldn't talk to her offset. Um, but no, JC was. I mean, she's she's a dog, and she, she's so sweet and so fun to be around. So just especially in a professional environment, it's uh, it can be nice to have just a like a little boost of energy and uh, of fun. Um, so it, it's a lot of fun to work with the dog, especially with such amazing trainers that we have. Mine is for Gil. So. What was the funniest thing that happened on set? Oh, wow. Oh, should be such an easy answer. <laughs> there was a lot of laughter on set, I'll tell you that. Um, uh, oh, geez, that's a tough one. I mean, I, I for sure, I loved when Gabe would tease me on set. Because <laughs> my, my humor is pretty sarcastic and Gabe was, you know, 13 and, but he would come back. I, as a matter of fact, the one I remember is, uh, didn't you say that you, you would charge me that I was doing well, but you're, you would be in the future charging me for acting lessons or something like that? Yeah, like that. I don't know. it was you, I think you asked for acting lessons or something. And then I was like, it would be five, it was like $50 an hour or something. something. It was something like that. I had said something sarcastic and he came back instantly with a much better line. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Cause I do like sarcastic humor. Uh, but there was a, just a lot of laughter on set, which was really nice. Um, you know, I, I you know, it, it, and it was because everyone wanted to be there. Um, you know, Gabe obviously wanted to be in the movie or else he wouldn't have auditioned. Um, Josh loved the script and wanted to be a part of it. Megan loved the script and wanted to be there. So when you have that kind of energy on set, it's, it's pretty fun. You know, it's because it, there's just a good feeling and the message of the film was a good message. So I think overall, it, there's a lot of laughter going on. Plus, I am incredibly funny, way funnier than Gabe, okay? No, seriously. No, you should write this for your kid's first film critic. Gil is so funny. Got it. Okay, okay. Uh, this is for Gabe. What was the most difficult scene to do and why? Um, I'd say the most, like, 
difficult for me was probably the scene where I confront my parents on uh, whether or not they're getting divorced and whether or not my dad is leaving. Um, just because anytime you have a scene like that, it can be really, uh, really exhausting. Um, but I don't know. I that scene it was it was less um, taxing than it normally would be because Gil and everyone on set was making sure that I was uh, I was in the right state of mind the whole time and just being surrounded by so many people that uh, genuinely cared for me. You know, it made it easier. But I would probably say that scene. That was a tough scene, man. Yeah. But it was interesting. It was very, very interesting because I remember the first couple of takes and I thought, wow, that's good. And then, but I also thought, if I may, there's more in him. There's more in him. There's more pain in him, you know, as an actor. And that's me being very high level, expecting a lot. And, and then we talked about that a little bit. I remember at the base of the stairs there, and then you said, okay. I said, do you want to take some time? You know, and you said, no, let's go do it. And I'm like, Jesus, this kid. And you came down the stairs and that's the take that just k killed me. And, and you saw, I mean, I, I don't know if you even saw, I've seen footage. Um, the cameras were rolling after the scene ended. So I've seen the footage and I am telling you, Megan and Josh were sobbing. They didn't even talk. Megan turned away. She looked out the window. If you remember the kitchen window behind the, the yeah. alcove there, yeah, yeah. they were sobbing. They were so moved by the scene because it said so much to them and where they are in their lives, you know? And so you you did that. Well, a lot of it was how it was written too and how, well, how you- it, Yeah, but it, it, yeah, I appreciate that. But, you know, the, the real tough job is delivering it honestly and yeah uh, yeah so basically what i'm trying to say is you make people cry so yeah that's not a good quality well, what was the hardest part about training the dog that plays henry oh hi um your question is a really good question so the hardest part about training henry um you know there there are a lot of um challenging things in any time you have a dog that plays the lead role in the movie. Um, these dogs are um, very high energy, you know, so um, JC, who is the main Henry in the film, um, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to get their attention and focus. And when when a dog's in a lead role and in almost every scene, um, you have to keep it really fun for them to motivate them to do something over and over again. So like, you know, we have to do multiple takes and, and sometimes the dogs get bored and they're like, why are we doing this five or six times in a row? So that becomes challenging on set. Um, and as an animal trainer, you know, it's my job and my team's job to motivate the dogs and keep it fun for them and make it a game. Um, so some of the challenges we had were just, um, you know, long, sometimes long days on set and the dogs being in a lot of scenes and they get bored or tired. Um, we filmed this movie in New Orleans. So New Orleans, um, I, I know I'm not saying that the right way, but, um, uh, you know, and there, there, it, the, 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 the climate is different there. It's really hot. Um, so sometimes that was challenging because, you um, it's very humid, obviously, and uh, the dogs aren't weren't used to that kind of weather. So um, I was really protective of them and making sure that they always had an air conditioned trailer. They always had water on set. The air con the, the sets were air conditioned um, because they just got really hot, you know, and that humidity. Um, and uh, those were really our biggest challenges were, you know, the, the long days and, um, and the heat in, in New Orleans. Thank you for your question. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Think like a dog. How'd you get so smart, Henry? He smells as many butts as I have. You tend to pick up a few things. 